Salam everyone. Peace to you all. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the sensitive matters that is being practiced in Muslim society especially. I'm totally against it because it has happened to me, which I do not prefer. Yes, the matter is circumcision. When a child is born, after some time or even before one year, Muslim parents do take him to doctors or old age doctors or whoever. They get him circumcised because they consider it one of the fundamental thing to be done to a boy when he is born. By doing so only, he will become a Muslim genuinely literally a boy can become a Muslim if he is circumcised only if not done he is not a Muslim that's what is being widely spread and widely known among the Muslim communities yes in our community also when I was a kid at least two years of age my parents have taken me and circumcised but now, since I have realized the barbaric act of this, I am totally against it. It should never have happened to me. This circumcision is totally against human rights. Every baby, every person has the right to choose what they have to follow in the future. Innocent baby, when he is born, not known anything, and destined to live. Do you understand it? Destined to live with circumcision. A portion of his body, organ, is removed without his consent. When he grows, whether he likes it or not, is not taken into consideration. This act should be stopped. This act must be stopped. This is against the human violation. I wonder why human rights organization, World Human Rights Organization, is unbelievably silent on this matter. Do they have anything to say about this? Religions, yes, but not at the expense of one's preference. One may be following one religion today and tomorrow he may follow another religion. But, from childhood itself, deciding one's destiny is against human right. I have a lot of people who say, yes, it is hygienic factor. No, no. It is beyond hygienic factor for Muslim people. Especially, I talk about Muslim people because I am born as a Muslim. So they say this act is hygienic factor. So God has created human human being without considering hygienic factor. What kind of hygienic factor by having a, a fleshy part in your body? And by removing it, you will feel more hygienic. No, this is not the truth. This is one kind of act which is being practiced from ancient time and it continues. Unfortunately, it continues against the will of God. People do practice it because it has been practiced by their ancestors. Unfortunately, it's continuing. It has no proof, no word in Quran to support it. Nothing has mentioned in Quran to perform this act. But still, they all prefer to do it. Because it was there in the past and they continue. So it means they follow their ancestors, their fathers. Not what is written in Quran, 
where is the words that says every boy should be circumcised nothing is mentioned at all so why should one do this to innocent babies who are born this is not right this is sheer violation a violation against innocent babies god has created human being and designed it in a shape that well deserve and no one can yes some of my colleagues peers friends say this is done because it differentiate them from others and they say it is mentioned in hadith so we do follow though it is not mentioned in quran clear violation is manifest here very obvious what they follow and they involve innocent babies whose consent is not given for this what a shame so many rights are there in the world to protect human being but unfortunately the world has allowed this to happen just considering that it is part and parcel of one religion it is not part and parcel of one religion this religion's main book the real book quran has not stated so but communities keep doing it for that consent is given by authorities it's super shame i do not understand why this happen in this modern era religions should follow yes of course let them follow it is their freedom i am not against it i don't want to be against it that's their freedom that natural choice some of my friends says if not circumcised it is shame for a man men should not be without circumcision that's how our ancestors have taught us <laughs> what do you think about those who are not circumcised in this world and living hygienic also without any problem any without any sexual problems either narrow minded people's thoughts continuing i am not against islam i am aware what has written in quran quran is full of clarification and fully detailed book wonderful book it has to be only from the creator of this world not from any other it has all the proof in it to vote and accept it as from god but the practices done and is still claiming that they are muslims and surrendered people to god doing things totally contrary to what their book is taught to them <laughs> 